Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix. Welcome to episode 57 of the Legends of Ocarina of Time. Man, we're getting up there in the numbers, aren't we? So in the last episode, we got a piece of heart, I think, as an adult, and I think that's about it. Um, yep, and that's all I'm really... That's basically all we did, and this episode, we're going to continue the story. We're going to move on to the, towards the Fire Temple, pretty much. And, uh... In between these two videos, 56 and 57, I was doing some little calculations about... Because I was wondering how many hard pieces I had left to get in the game. And it turns out I only have to get five more hard pieces. Like, ser seriously, I didn't think it would be that little by, like, already. Because, like, if you think about it, I have, I have three hard pieces right now. I need one more to complete that container. And then I need four more to complete another container, and that will be the last four heart pieces, because after that, uh, I'll, I'd have 16 hearts after that. And I still have four heart containers to get from the bosses. So, yeah. So that'll get me up to 20 hearts, which is the maximum, obviously. And that'd be pretty, pretty much it. So anyways, I just thought that'd be interesting for you to know that we're getting close to the end of those of the heart piece collection. But those last five heart pieces, we're, pro we're probably not going to be seeing them for a while. Trust me. So anyways, um, we're in Goron City here, because this is where we have to come to progress the storyline. Obviously, since Gorons are all about fire. You know, fire! Anyways, uh, you can hear a skill show here, actually. And where, y where might that skill show be? Well, it is right over there. Right over here. And there's that token. Uh, yep. And that's gonna be it for that Skulltoes in Goron City, but there's no way to check that because the Goron City is part of Death Mountain, and I know there's still some Skulltoes left on Death Mountain to get. Anyway, so there should be some guy rolling around here. Some Goron. Yeah, where are all the Gorons anyways? And I think that Goron that I'm thinking of is actually one little up. I can hear him, but whatever. So yeah, we're gonna go look for him, and we're gonna, you're gonna need to get your bombs out, obviously, because whenever there's a Goron rolling around, it's always the most polite thing to bomb them. Oh my God, there he is! See, he's a small little bugger, and he moves fast too. So you gotta be quick about this. I'm just gonna wait for him over here. I don't think I have to bomb him under the arch this time. Oh, that was bad. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. No, I was too far to the side. Damn it. Damn it. Alright. These bombs actually explode a lot faster than the bomb flowers, so... Oh, uh, that's good to know. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, explode, explode. Damn, oh my god. Wow. Why doesn't him rolling into it make it explode? Seriously, shouldn't it? Like, wouldn't that be make sense? Or at least he could knock it out of the way or something? No, he just rolls right through it. He's just that awesome. And... Got him! Nice. We come over here and he's like, How could you do this to me? You, you're Ganondorf's servant. Hear my name and tremble. I am Argon, hero of the Gorons. What? What's your name? Did, did I get that right? Your name is... Argon? What? Your name is also Argon. Then you must be the legendary Dodongo Buster. <laughs> Dodongo Buster. And hero, Argon. My dad is Darunia. Do you remember him? Hmm. Who's the lucky lady? <laughs> dad named me Argon after you because you're so brave. It's a cool name. I really like it. Argon, you're a hero to us, Gorons. I'm so glad to meet you. That's cool, dude. Please give me your autograph. Sign it to my friend, Argon of the Gorons. Oh? I guess it's not a good time to ask you for this. Dude, it's always a good time to ask someone for an autograph. No matter what. Please help, everyone. My dad, Darunia, went to the Fire Temple. A dragon... Dr 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 dragon? <laughs> it's so scary. <laughs> if we don't hurry up, even my dad will be eaten by the dragon. Boo -boo 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 you better try to calm him down if you can. Who's talking to me? Where's that? Where's that voice coming from? And what's what? Listen to him cry. Just 
I'm gonna stop talking here, just listen. Who cries like that, really? I guess a Goron does. Man, maybe if he, what do you want to talk to? What do you want to ask him? Ask about the dragon or ask about the Gorons? Ask about the dragon first. A long time ago, there was an evil dragon named Volvagia living in this mountain. That dragon was very scary. He ate Gorons. Using a huge hammer, the hero of the Goron, the hero of the Gorons, boom! Destroyed it just like that. This is a myth from long ago, but it's true. I know because my dad is a descendant of the hero. B -b -b -boo you better try to calm him. Whatever. And now we ask about the Gorons. You do have to ask about that them in that order. Everybody was taken to the fire temple. While my dad was out, Ganondorf's followers came and took them all away. All of them will be eaten by Volvagia. Dad said that Ganondorf revived Volvagia. As a warning to those who might oppose him, Ganondorf is going to feed them to all to Volvagia. Dad went to the fire temple all by himself to try to save everyone. Please help, Argon. I'll give you this heat-resistant tunic. And we get the red tunic, which I don't like. It. I don't like its color very much on Link, but it's useful since uh, if you wear it, then it'll be easier to go in hot places. And he opens the door to the shop and the door to his dad's room. For some reason, why was the door to the shop closed? There is a guy in there, you know, just like the Zoras. He was like trapped in there forever. And maybe he won't know that the door's open either, and he'll be trapped in there forever. And he'll be like, damn it, it was open the whole time. Yes, I know, this is soft carpet. It's very plush under my feet. Anyway, so what you want to do is, well, first we're going to put on our heat-resistant tunic here. Because you're going to need it in a minute. Yeah, and with the heat-resistant tunic, you can go to places like Death Mountain Crater. You know how there was a timer there because it was so hot? Well, now there won't be a timer. You can also walk in lava for longer periods of time without getting hurt. You, you still will get hurt, you just won't get hurt as fast. And you come in here, and, um, this is Death Mountain Crater, another entrance to it, rather. Uh, you can try and go over there, but you won't get very far if you do that. What you want to do is actually move over here. I really like the red glow of this place. It makes it feel so evil and hot and stuff. I just like the atmosphere. Uh, you're going to get out your hookshot, and we're going to go over here. Hookshot over here. And over here, towards the Temple of Fire, and oh my god, Sheik, what are you doing here? you never appeared before, before a temple like this. What? It is something that grows over time. A true friendship. A feeling in the heart that becomes even stronger over time. I feel, I feel, I'm so tempted to rip off Nintendo Capri Sun with this speech. The passion of friendship will soon blossom into a righteous power, and through it you will know which way to go. This song is dedicated to the power of the heart. Listen to the bolero of fire. Nice little speech there, Sheik. Anyways. This is a pretty awesome song, too. But what's more awesome than the song is the scene that's going to play as soon as I play this song. Like, just watch this. This is going to be so epic. What? I did not fail. You noob. You failed. That's kind of hard to play with the GameCube, but watch this. Boom. Boom. In my opinion, that is one of, if not the most epic scene in the entire game. We've learned the Bolero of Fire, which will warp us to the Triforce symbol in this area. Argon, I'll see you again. Of course you will. Sorry, I know you'll be able to hear that, but my mom is leaving, and then she said goodbye to me, so I could not ignore her. I probably won't cut that out, because it'll be kind of funny for you. Whatever. Anyway, so yeah, the Bolero Fire will warp you right to here, which is awesome. Anyway, so this is the way to the Temple of Fire over here. Um... I don't really want to get started on that right now, because I don't really have much time left. But, I'm sure that we will get started with that in the next episode. I don't have much time left, plus I'm extremely tired after watching 12 hours of gaming with scope. And stuff like that. I can show this over here, I guess, with the time I have left. You can come over here and you can play your Scarecrow song if you want. 
And I'll make a scarecrow up here. Pierre's going to come and save the day. You can hook shot to him as always. And over here there's basically nothing, but you can make another scarecrow up here over there, and you can go get those rupees if you want. But I'm not tempted to do that, so whatever. Anyways, so I think that's pretty much it for this recording session. I need to go to bed pretty much. And yeah. So thank you all for watching. In the next episode, we will be going to fight Volvagia. Well, maybe not in the next episode. That would be epic, but probably not. So thank you all for watching. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night.